My biggest fear would be when the first comes and I don't get the rent. I found that my tenant had dumped concrete down my toilet. Can you believe Fair Housing fined me $5,000 for that? How do you onboard your tenants? What do you do? I don't even know if I do it right. If you're a landlord, don't just rent, rent perfect. The Rent Perfect Podcast with property expert and private investigator, David Pickron. Scotty, here we are again outside. There's a little bit of a drizzling rain. It's something we're not used to. It's a little bit cool in the air. Yeah. As most of you know, we're in Phoenix, Arizona, and probably mid to late September just brings a smile to your face. We love the turning of the tide, don't we? <laughs> oh, we're just so burned out. Uh, David Pickron, your host here, here with Scott Aubrey. Grateful you can join us today. Please subscribe. Uh, like us uh, at uh, YouTube, online, on, on the podcast. We certainly appreciate the uh, comments that, uh, that come our way. And many of our podcasts come from either phone calls, comments, conversations. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, managing is, is uh, there's no one way. And, and no. there are so many great ideas and there are so many situations out there, there are millions of situations that we can't possibly right. think of. So we want to certainly thank um, those, those of uh, our audience that calls in or comments yeah. and says, hey, we want to hear something about this. It's ever evolving. And I think just when we think we've heard it all, yeah, we get the phone call that goes, nah, that new one, got a new wrinkle for you. So, Well, that's crazy. But uh, today I want to, um, I'm going to start with asking you a question. Sure. How many partnerships do you have in your life? Hmm. I mean, dozens probably. Okay. Maybe more. Okay. And what is the difference between a partnership and a friendship? Um, good question. I think I, 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 there's a, with a partnership, I think there's an expectation. Um. There's a you know there's a there's a give and take where a friendship can be one sided sometimes a friendship is uh, probably more casual than a partnership. Okay, okay. so something there's kind of on the line in a partnership. There's yeah. some something that ties us together more sure. than just we like each other. Maybe. Sure. No, yeah, we like the same restaurant. There's a difference, okay. right? Then so you and your wife are friends. Mm-hmm. You have a friendship, but the reality is you have a partnership. We have a partnership. I got a partnership right. with my kids. I've got a partnership right. with you. I've right. got a partnership. With my dry cleaner, love right. that guy. I mean, I mean, there, we do have some right. partnerships. For sure. And a lot of our relationship, which is phenomenal, by the way, thank you very much for being a good friend of yes. mine. But a lot of our relationship is based around this rental industry. Correct. Right. Yep. And, and and these companies and and that's majority of what we talk about. Right. We're, you know, but I think sometimes where we fall short as landlords is we don't realize that your relationship with your tenants is a partnership and not a friendship. Mm-hmm not just a casual relationship, but it is actually a partnership. And I, <clears throat> I want to talk about that in the mere fact that a partnership can be way better as far as a business dealings than a friendship can be. Yeah. Right? And I think a partnership should be mutually beneficial, right? I mean, there are friendships, we're probably all in them, where it's really a one-sided friendship where maybe they get everything out of it and we get nothing. But a partnership should be, right. both partners should get something out of that relationship. Right. And with my personal tenants, I am actually want to build my partnership with them. But listen to this. I actually don't want to build my friendship right, with them. Yeah. I mean, and that sounds kind of like, well, wait a minute. What are you saying? You want to l- build your partnership. A little harsh. A little harsh. Yeah. But not build your friendship, right? Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is I really don't have a relationship with my tenants outside of our partnership. Not going to dinner with them. My wife, start, my wife and their wife aren't getting together. And the reason that is, and it might sound a little harsh again too, is because when someone gets in trouble and they owe me rent, I'm and on a friendship, mm-hmm. I'm going to be, hey man, can you you know throw me a bone over here? Can you help me out? And I'm not really looking for that relationship, right? Right. I want them to go to their family, go to their church, go go somewhere else to fulfill our partnership. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to make the difference between friendship and partnership before we. We continue on. Sure. Okay. So would you agree that if you have a partnership with your tenant, that it is a completely different relationship than it, than if you just see them as your tenant? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If if I see you as just my tenant, you're kind of like an ATM that lives in my house that gives me money when, when I, you know, once a month. Right. 
And I loved earlier because you said a partnership, you both have to benefit. Yeah. Right? So if we can look at our <coughs> our tenants living in our homes benefiting from having us as a good landlord, they're going to be there for a long time, which then is a benefit to us. Yeah. I, I think they take better care of the property. Right. They're a better member the, of that community. You're, got, you're not going to have phone calls from the neighbors going, your tenant is X, Y, Z, right? Tearing right. up the house, blowing up the neighborhood, whatever. I agree. So I have a few tenants that have been in some of my home, homes over 10 years. Tenant 10 years. I love it. There's some poetic things. Tenant there, yeah. for yeah. 10 <laughs> years. Okay. They should get a free cruise for that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> They should get something yeah. for hitting that, paying off a third of my mortgage. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? And I didn't get there because it was all a one-way relationship, right? I got there because I check in a little every once in a while. I see how they're doing. Um, once again, not being friends with them, but just making sure we're on the same page, mm -hmm. right? Now, out of those 10 years, I probably raised rents five or six times. But here's an example. On December 1st, I didn't say, hey, I'm raising your rent January 1st. You have 30 days. In August or September, I let them know, hey, listen, my taxes are going up. Mm -hmm. I've got some expenses going up. An increase is coming early, you know, next year. Just know that it's coming. Yeah. And most likely, it will be $100 more. Okay? I don't be, I'm not definitive yet, mm -hmm. but I just put that in their head. Oh, right. Okay. Plant the seed a little bit. So when I come in in October, November, maybe even December, and I say, okay, guys, um, final rent increase is this, mm -hmm. they are already ready for that. They've already. It's not a shocking conversation. It's, oh, okay, you've warned right. us to do it. So I wanted them as a partnership to know out in front, hey, this is coming this way, and if you have any concerns or whatever, let me know. Yeah. Right? I think a lot of times we just say, rent's increasing, and I don't really care how you handle it. Right? Yeah. But then sometimes we might not get paid rent, right? Or we might put them in a situation where they're struggling so hard that they start looking for another yeah, place to live. Out, yeah. um, which might be okay with me if the market is hot and I've got a line out the door. Mm -hmm. But the reason I'm talking about partnerships today is how do partnerships work when we start sliding a little bit? Maybe rents come down. Maybe there's more vacancies out there. Yeah, market stabilizes a little bit more. Right. It's not so volatile. Right, yeah. and the power then comes from me as a landlord who has the line waiting out the door to mm -hmm. rent my place to now all of a sudden there's a lot of rentals out there and these guys can go to, you know, a four-bedroom instead of a three-bedroom yeah. or get a pool that they've always wanted. Or so, um, so I keep this communications open with my business partners, my tenants, mm -hmm. um, often. And uh, I'll often give them a call and just seeing how they're doing, how the place is doing. And I make sure that I'm super open open to them calling me too. Mm -hmm. Now, can you get the person that calls you too many times? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And do you need to establish the rules in the relationship? Yes. Right? But think of this, Scott. I've got rents up in one particular place I'm thinking about right now. Pretty high. And I know because I am in communication with them and I've vetted them and I've mm -hmm. seen them, I know that they're they're paycheck to paycheck yeah, pretty they're close. Stretched right? Right they're now. stretched, right? They're stretched, right? But they find a way to get me paid. <coughs> so what I'm thinking about now is, okay, rents are coming down a little bit here in the Phoenix market. Not by much, but a little bit. Do I want to make sure and keep them? Or do I want them to either not pay, you know, which then I have to get them out or find another place. Right. And then I have to go through the whole onboarding process again with somebody that now, <coughs> I don't know. There's unknown variables now, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, I, I, I think any, any landlord's like, I like the known variables way more than I like the unknown. So what's wrong with going into maybe a downside? What's wrong with coming back on your rent a little bit? to keep the known, mm -hmm. to keep the, the payment. I mean, we're up so high right now that, that landlords should be making a lot of money. Yeah. And I think, I just want to think, tell people that I think that greed can get you in trouble here. If you need to back off a little bit, be that great landlord and back off a little bit just yeah. to keep them for the next two, three, four, five, ten years. And that's how you really manage a property in my yeah. opinion. That's the, that's the show of a great partner, right? As the right. landlord, 
we can't expect the tenant to be the great partner. We have to be the great partner as well. And some of the, something we always talk about is this short-term view versus long-term view. Great, I'll get $200 more a month for the next six months, and then they're gone. And then I have a vacant property for two, three, four months right. that I'm, now I've shelled out ten grand in mortgage payments on. Right. And did I really win in the long run? No, I didn't there, right? So we have to look at that, the totality of kind of the relationship and, and how we want that to work. Right. So landlords, I want you getting the most money you can get for your rental and still stay, you know, in a good partnership, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I'm not telling you to give away the farm. You didn't, you worked hard to have these rentals. So make sure your market value for sure, but let's not get too greedy right now, especially going into a time where we possibly could be losing some of our business partners mm -hmm. for, for different reasons. And so, um, hey, partnerships are great. See your tenants as a partner. Um, you know, the bottom line is they're paying off our mortgages, we all know. They're giving us hopefully a $300, $400 cash flow a month. Right. right? And we'll catch that appreciation upswing the next cycle. Uh, but right now we just kind of got to lay low, make a little dough, and, uh, and move about today. Yeah. Right? Love that. Awesome. Lay low, make a little dough. Lay low. <laughs> Wait. Lay low, <laughs> Lay make low, a little dough. Make a little dough. It's a great motto. Yeah. Lay, Lay low, low make, make a little, little dough. dough. Five times. Awesome. Scotty, thanks for joining <laughs> us today. And we hope that this is uh, uh, valuable for you to something to think about and analyze uh, your business partners that you have, that you may find success through these times coming up. And until next time, continue to rent perfect.